Today I'm gonna to show you about Google Slides. So to get there, I'm gonna go from google.com up to my waffle on the right. I'm gonna select it. And then I'm gonna click on Slides, which is right here. And what it opens to is an area where you can select different templates to edit. You can do a blank one or have some that are already made up. And then it shows you all of the slides that you have in your Google Drive. We're going to create a blank slide today so we can learn a little bit more about it. Essentially what Slides is, is Google's version of PowerPoint. It has a lot of the same features, plus it has the advantage of being available anywhere you have the internet. So up here at the top left, it starts off unnamed. We can give it a name. And it starts with our title slide. On the right, it gives us options to change the theme or the style of it. And you can change your title or subtitle. Over to the left, there is a plus sign right here with a little drop down arrow. If you hit the plus sign, it will just generate a new slide for you. But if you hit this little drop down arrow next to it, you can choose what kind of slide it gives you. You can choose one that has a title and a body, one that has a column and a text, title only. There's a few different options. So what this is, is a text box. You can click here and type. If you ever want to add in a text box yourself, you can go right up here to this T. If you click the T, you're then able to click and drag and let go where you want your text box to be. You can always edit it up and down later if you need to. And once you're there, you can type what you would like. Once you have text, you can change the way it looks. Sometimes when you pick a theme, it'll change the way that your font looks. If you want, you can simply highlight your text, go up here to where it has our current font, and I'm able to choose from all of these different ones. Just remember, you want to select one that's pretty easy to read, and unfortunately, typically, one of those fancy scripts aren't that easy to read. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one, and maybe I want to make it a little bit bigger. I can go over here to the font size, I can click the plus or minus, or I can have it click it to drop down. And I can make it bigger or smaller. You also have the options, just like you would on PowerPoint, to make things bold, italicized, underlined, and even change the color of your text, as well as highlight your text. I'm going to go ahead and go up to this slide. If I don't want one of these sections that are there, I can simply click it and hit delete and it will delete itself. You have a lot of options. I suggest if you have time playing around, you could insert anything from images, uploading it from the computer, searching from the web. There's a lot of different options. If you create a presentation and you want to present it to people, you can go up here where it says present and it will give you the full screen so that you can fully see your presentation and it is very easy for everyone to look at.